So in the last video, we have talked about array. So we have seen the theory of array. In this, we'll talk about the implementation. Now, uh, what we'll do is we'll, we'll take five elements of five integer values. So instead of storing those five values into variables, we can store those values in one variable. And that one variable will be an array. So how to get an array? So we'll say, first we need to specify the data type. And then you have to mention the variable name. So we are using A as my array. And we have to provide this bracket. Now this square bracket defines that A is not a normal variable. It's a variable which carries some values, not one value. It will take some value. And that's why we use this uh, a square bracket. And the type of these values will be int. Now since arrays in Java, they are objects. Because in array in uh, C is different, arrays in Java is different because arrays in Java is object. So in order to create object, we, have, we require a new keyword and then you have to specify which type of array you need. We need an array of int elements. Then question arise, how much elements? We'll say we want five elements. So we have created an array of five elements. Now in order to assign the values, your array has now five values or it will have five values and the first value. So if you want to differentiate between different values, we have to specify some number. So every value will have a different number and that number will be called as index number. So what I mean by that is, let's say you have five values. So let's say five values are, let me write in comment, values are two, six, eight, uh, four and one. So if these are my values, my index value for this will be, I, I, I need to assign an individual number to each and this value. So we'll say first value is index zero, second is one, two, three, four. So in Java or uh, in array concept, your value will have an index number and the index number starts with zero. So the last number value will be the size minus one. So if your size is five, so the last value will be four. So these are my values and these are the index number. Now if I want to assign the values, it's very easy. You have to say A, uh, since I want to assign the value, I need to assign the value two, but where? To the first location, which is zero. Then I need to assign a value to let's say uh, six in this second, as a second value will assign, will assign two, as a third value will say this is eight, and then we'll say a of three will be, this will be your four, and then a of four, this value will be your one. So this is how we need to assign all these values, clear? Now once you assign all these values, we can, we can print these values. Now in order to print all these values, we need to use, so we'll use, uh, we'll say s out, now if I say print A, now the problem is if you try to print A, let's see the output first. So if you are thinking the output will be 26841, uh, let's see, let's, let me run this file. And it will take some time. Alright, so the output is this, uh oh, what's this now? Now this is not a, a value, this is a hash code because Array in Java, they are objects, right? And every ob when you try to print object, it will print the hash code. But now yeah, uh, here, I want to print the values, right? So in order to print the values, we need to say, we need to specify the index number. If, if you specify index number as zero, it will print the first value. So if I run this code now, the output is two. Uh, if I want to print, uh, let's say, fourth last element, so I have to specify A of 4. So if I run this file, the output will be 1. Clear? But let's say if I want to print all the values. So instead of specifying all different statements, it will, see, we have to write this, right? We have to print five statements. First will be A of 0, then A of 1, then A of 2, and then this goes on. Instead of doing that, what we can do is we can use only one statement and we can run the same statement continuously with the help of for loop. So in for loop, I need to specify the starting value, which is zero. And then I need to end it uh, at uh, less than five, which is four and I plus plus. And instead of, and then we can, we can use, use a curly braces here, but uh, since we are using only one statement inside for loop, we, know, we don't need curly braces. And instead of zero, we'll say i. So it will print all the values from uh, zeroth index to fourth index. So if I run this code now, and these are your values, right? So this is how you have to implement array. 
Uh, so we'll do some more more detailed work in this in subsequent tutorials. So thank you so much for watching and do subscribe.